to get day state line a new year means new tv shows abc just added the show call your mother to their schedule with a very familiar face leading the show emmy and golden globe winner kira sedgwick good morning good morning so this is a really really relatable show i've only really seen you know that 30 second clip that's everywhere but it makes me want to watch it it's about an empty nester mom who misses her kids and you want to jump back into their lives right yeah yeah that sounds right <laughs> definitely um yeah yeah Jean is uh is um decides that you know her son that there must be something wrong and he must need her after he doesn't hear she doesn't hear from him in four days and so she goes to los angeles and she ends up staying there where her adult children are so you have two kids that are they around the same age as Jean's kids Yes, they are um, a little bit older, actually, um, and uh, and I can totally relate to this concept of like, you know, you birth this child and basically you spend, you know, pretty much every waking minute, <laughs> and I don't really think I'm exaggerating too much when I say thinking like about their well-being. How are they? If they're in your sight, how are they? If they're not in your sight, how are they? And I think that, you know, if you do your job right, you essentially get fired when they're <laughs> 18 or 19 and like they go off or you're furloughed or whatever. And like, you have to figure out like, what do I do with all this extra energy? And like, what do I do with all this like caretaking skills? And like, who am I without my kids? And do they need me? And, and, and then they're also kind of figuring out like, I need to be independent, but I also need my mom, but I also <laughs> want to be independent. And sometimes, and often there's like issues with siblings and like people role in the family and so you know th this is a family that you know has all those fun issues you know and complications but also like desperately love each other and and really want to figure it out and have a lot more to learn from each other you know and I think it's a really perfect time I mean not only because it's hilarious and totally <laughs> relatable, relatable but also I mean I think that right now like there isn't there are very few people that I know my age and otherwise who aren't having to bump up against their family members mm -hmm. in a very very um acute way right now with uh, you know what's been going on sure. in our world with the pandemic and so you know it's like a perfect time i totally agree and i think the best part about being able to watch a comedy a tv show about this is you get to do the busting back into your kids lives where like all moms watching maybe really want to do that and just feel like maybe they shouldn't <laughs> Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, some some days they'll, some episodes they'll think like, that was a really good idea, Gene. And then other <laughs> episodes are going to be like, you really shouldn't have done that, Gene. Yeah. <laughs> so we're wondering if you filmed the show pre-pandemic or was it a struggle to get it off the ground in 2020? Yeah, it's been, a, it, it was a struggle. I mean, we were supposed to start early summer and we didn't end up staying, we didn't end up starting until late fall and we're actually still shooting currently. Um, yeah, it's challenging, you know, but I have to say that I think that, you know, show people, you know, people that do t t film and television and plays and, you know, uh, they there's like this tradition of taking care of each other and a tradition of kind of making and creating family wherever you go and being invested in each other's well-being. And so I think that that really that really bodes well for keeping at each other safe, that sort of built in traditional thing of like, you know, we just take care of each other because that's that's what this tribe does. And and such so much of of this pandemic has been how do we take care of each other, you know? And so we've done a really good job of taking care of each other and making something really fun and really entertaining and really relatable in the process. That's awesome. We we're very excited that so many new TV shows are coming this year for all of us who've been at home, you know, watching every little piece of television that we could get our hands on. So we definitely need something new. If you had to, you know, just give us one reason why we should watch Call Your Mother, what would you say? I think I think because you'll recognize yourself in one of the one or mm -hmm. many of the characters and it's hilarious. <laughs> I love knowing that it's hilarious. I have one last question for you before we go. We, of course, have to talk about you and your husband. Hollywood loves you guys. So we just want to know, what is your favorite Kevin Bacon movie? Oh, um, oh, gosh. <laughs> gosh. Uh, 
Not, not a movie that people know very well. Um, Murder in the First. Oh, okay. A movie called Murder in the First. Well, I've never seen it, but now I'm going to take your suggestion <laughs> and watch it sometime. Thank you so much I for would. joining us today, Kira. Thank you so much. Take care. If you missed the premiere of Call Your Mother, you can catch it on ABC.com. The show airs Wednesday nights at 8.30. Next, we're taking a trip to your CBD store in Roscoe. We'll be right back after today's forecast.